Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I've uploaded anything, so I'm pretty excited. Um, for this video, I'll be making this little guy right here. Actually, he's not little at all. He's like 13 inches tall. All right, let's get started. First things first, uh, we need to create an armature. That's aluminum wire, which is very pliable. Um, and you know, you can bulk up your armature uh, any way you want, but most people do use foil. And here I am bending it to the shape I need and cutting it down to the measurements that I need. And all this is pre-planned, so I have a sketch I'm working from. And it's so important to get these on tightly and it's not my favorite thing to do, uh, you know, to make the armature, but it is, I know, the most important step. Because if you don't get the armature right, it's going to cause a lot of problems. So get those measurements right, make sure everything is secure down. I'm using this base uh, just because it's just easier to have the sculpture upright to sculpt on but um, I mean you could do it without but this is much easier if you get get it stood up So when you're bulking, bulking up your armature with foil and such, you, you want to put enough on there, but not too much. Because if you do, it's, it's harder to edit than to add, you know. So be mindful of that. I'm using a third material to bulk, and I don't think most people do use this, um, which is air dry clay. I don't think I've seen many people like mix two clays, but um, I did just because I just felt like it worked better that way. The air dry clay because um, I can manipulate it better than the foil, but yet it uh, keeps my sculpture really lightweight because this, um, this the sculpey that goes on top of it is quite heavy. So I'm referencing, um, you know, photos to make sure that I get these uh, proportions right. That's really important. I mean, I pretty much mentally know what they are, but at the same time, um, you know, it's better to just get it right. So I always keep photos on hand to uh, reference. Again, I'm being very mindful of how thick I want certain parts with, without going too overboard with the, the, you know, the skeleton here. So you have to let this dry before you put anything else on it. I mean, unless you just keep on working with the air dry clay, then you can just keep on working. But I'm gonna use polymer clay on top of this and you need to let it dry for a few to several days, but you know, I'm too impatient for that. So here we are with the heat gun. It's not always the best thing and I always pay for it in the long run. Um, but, you know, here's my Super Sculpey. And, you know, uh, 
all clays have pros and cons. There's no, I don't think there's like one better clay than the other. Um, as you see, I am working with both clays just because, you know, um, One's lightweight, one's not lightweight, one's easier to use, one's not as easy to use. So if I use both, I can get both of their benefits. Polymer clay is very user friendly when you're sculpting. However, um, when you're doing it on a figure this large, it's gonna crack. It's going to be very br brittle. It's not durable over a long, um, you know, period of time. So, um, I never se sell these originals. They're, they're just so that I could, uh, make a mold out of, so I can cast reproductions out of them. But if you're doing smaller figures, like, by all means, it's completely fine. That air dry clay, however, is really durable once it's um, dried and also very um, lightweight. It's very ideal, but it's not as user friendly as the Super Sculpey is when you're actually sculpting it. Five in the morning, so if you hear snoring, <laughs> you know why. I got pups that are heavy sleepers. So the face is really important to me. Um, so I spend extra time on getting the face right. With this figure, even after everything was filmed, I spent a few more hours, like maybe even another day, editing the face. And they were like slight changes, but I, I feel like they make all the difference in the world. And get your guy, uh, get yourself, um, some good tools. I think tools are so important to get into like the small nooks and crannies. It'll save you. Um, it'll save you a lot of time when you have the right tool. I think most of us get like a lot of tools, but in the end, there's only a handful that we use over and over. So here underneath that rim of clay is a um, chipboard just to stiffen it up. That clay is just way too soft to stand up like that by itself. But I think something more ideal than chipboard is um, wired mesh. And if you find it hard sculpting smaller objects like this using um, the Super Sculpey Medium, um, you can get the, the Super Sculpey Hard, and uh, that's easier to work with um, smaller objects with. One of my favorite um, tools is that wired loop. 
it's tiny. You can get it in all sizes, and, but it's harder to find the really small ones. So Super Sculpey or Sculpey makes a glue that helps adhere one piece of, you know, polymer clay to uh, another piece, but I just find it easier when I um, smear them together just like this. And that's how I get the polymer clay to stick to the air dry clay too, is just smear it on. So a good way to like blend polymer clay and make it smooth is by using um, rubbing alcohol and I do use it on um, these rolls. There we go. It does really help smooth things out. I do love 20s hairstyle. Actually, I do love anything from the 20s. Obviously. I always wonder, like, why does every other decade get to come back in style, but never the 20s? Someone pointed out today that he doesn't have nipples, and I never realized that about my sculptures, like my male figures, they just don't have nipples. I don't know if I would change that in the future, but that happened today and I thought it was pretty funny. So I'm just using acrylic um, base clay or water base clay. I like matte just because it doesn't give it the kind of cheesy, shiny look.
I use an airbrush to give it a nice fade because I I mean it's pretty impossible to do it with a brush um, so the airbrush comes in handy Mixing a dark blue um, to dry brush onto um, the pant or the pants, um, and when the technique is basically you take just a little bit of paint on that brush without any water, so really dry brush. That's why you know they call it a dry brush, and then you brush it on top of the surface, and you get a really good highlight effect. Kind of darkening the creases here. Very subtle, but I think it makes a difference. Red is my favorite color to put on figures because I really think it um, just ties everything together and it gives it a really uh, a realistic look. And like a cute, you know, look with rosy cheeks and rosy ears and whatnot. I will do the same dry brushing um, technique on the brows, um, the mustache, and the hair. Dry brushing is just great um, when you need highlights on something. And it, it goes over something, a darker color. And before I make the mold, I do go in and um, fine detail the figure once again. So what I post on social media isn't like, it's not done. I just, I'm just impatient to get it out. So I get it out and um, then before I make the mold, I always go in and um, kind of perfect it a little bit more. So. I'm just using a Sharpie to do this and usually it gives um, a pretty dark blue and I want it to look a little bit more realistic, you know, like tattoos are a little bit more translucent because it's in the skin, you know, it's lighter than this really stark blue um, or black. So I uh, put on the designs 
and then I spray it with a clear coat just to seal it in and then I go over it with um, again just the, the skin tone just like a wash so it, 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 it fades out the tattoo now I'm just um, adding the last bit of red um, highlights and there you have it my sailor man I hope you guys enjoy this video um, if you did let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel and I'll know to make more videos like this in the future thanks so much for watching guys and if you want to collect a figure um, you can get him on my Etsy shop I'll put a link in the description again thank you and stay safe